As many as 700,000 migrant workers live in Taiwan, the National Human Rights Museum has opened a free exhibit exploring what it's like for them in Taiwan. The museum showcases some of the many issues they face in the country and how they go about their daily lives. Let's take a look. Walking into the museum, images of infrastructure projects built by migrant workers are some of the first things to see. There are also goods produced by migrant workers. In this room, you can experience what life is like as a migrant fisherman. The exhibition aims to showcase the different roles played by migrant workers in Taiwan society. We are trying to encourage viewers, and in particular members of Taiwanese society, to readjust the distance they place between themselves and migrant workers. In fact, what we put on, where we go, and the things we eat every day have connections to the labor of migrant workers. This room helps bring to light the living conditions and daily work routine of long-term care workers. Their entire exhibition is curated by 15 non-governmental organizations who advocate for the rights of migrant workers. We had in-depth discussions with NGO partners and then held some workshops. Our aim was for NGO partners who have been advocating or involved in actions for a long time to be able to relate these hard issues to the public in a way that is easier for them to take in and talk about. We use objects, stories, literature and food to turn the museum into another site for social action. Organizers hope the exhibit will impart better understanding and empathy to viewers for the issues and hardships faced by Taiwan's migrant workers. The exhibition will be held at the Jingmei White Terror Memorial Park through March 27, 2022. For Mosa News, Stephanie Yang, Wang Yuchun in Taipei.